I have <gasps> Art Snacks. Um, Art Snacks is a uh, art subscription box, and um, I have my first one because I thought I wanted to give it a go, and I'll make some art with it. I have my deadly weapon here. Ooh. Cool. Okay, so this is the menu card. But oh, this is the menu card. But I'm not gonna look at that yet because I want it to be a surprise. Oh. Okay, so we have like a little, little blue candy cane. I don't know what flavor it is. I'm guessing blue flavor. Okay, get that out of the way. Move my little lolly, candy, whatever. Whatever country you're from. Oh, cool. Okay. Ah, oh, there's the sticker. That is the Art Snack sticker. Okay, what have we got? We got Indigo Blue Brush Marker Pro. Oh, I have a brush marker. Yes. Because I think these are really, really good pens. I've never tried this one, but yeah, Karen brand. But I've heard they're really good pens anyway. Now I've got uh, another brush pen, which is white. I think brush pens, great for highlights in illustration and manga artworks. Okay, cool. So, I mean, that gives me an idea. Manga. This is a Edding 1880 Drawliner um, 0.4. So, yeah, it's a little one. Cool. I'm going to be swatching these as well, so... And this is metallic, metallic black. Add flecks of metallic to your stamped projects. Okay, I've never, never tried that before. Let's open this up. Oh, look, it's got like a little, oh, got a zipper. <laughs> it looks like makeup. Uh, okay, so you got to push. Oh, I feel like such a noob. Oh, um, um, okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Ah, oh, I see, I see. Okay, so what am I going to push in? That, nope, not that. Oh, don't do that. Um. As in squeeze? Is it working? I don't know how to art. How do I art? <laughs> ah, look. Okay, so I read the thing, and the thing says, blah, 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 you'll love this pen, it's the best. Before use, remove the black protective ring. <gasps> ah, ha, ha, see, that thing. Go away. And then you put it, ah. Um, then I've got this one. Oh. See? Yeah, it's got a it's got a yellow ring. So I know what I'm doing now. This is nine dollars as well, apparently. Go. Away. Like that. And then we can do this. And we go push. And then we go. Ooh. Oh, nope. Hang on. Oh, there we go. Oh. Cool. So, come on. This is nine dollars as well, apparently. So, oh, 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 something's going. Oh, oh, oh my! Oh, squeeze too much. Okay, it's it's white out essentially. Okay, maybe not do it on cellophane, not cellophane tissue paper. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and swatch some of these so I can see what I'm dealing with. So we'll start with the uh, Wink of Luna metallic. Uh, brush pen by Kiritake Zig, I believe it is. So, I'll, oh look, it's black now. <laughs> it's kind of like a paint pen, like a um, water 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 pen thing. Hang on. So these things like for watercolor, and you fill them up with water, and they're um, for like you know traveling and stuff. And yeah, so it's the same sort of thing. 
except you put ink in. Oh, ooh, I think I could put ink in here and then it'll work the same as this. Ha ha ha. And I can save myself you know, $9. It's still not coming out. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. I don't know. I don't want it to go everywhere though. Now this is going to, uh, this apparently has like flex in it, which I don't see yet. Eh. It's, oh God. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of dry. It's sort of metallic. It's a bit, you know, shimmery if you can kind of see, I don't know, maybe that's just because it's wet. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's probably not, as, it's not as metallic as I thought it was going to be. It'd be good for a night sky, I suppose. And then you could add some white highlights for stars or something. Anyway, we've done that one. Draw liner. So let's see what sort of blue this is. It's, no, oh, is it blue? Actually, it doesn't say it's blue. It's not blue, it's black. But it's, you know, it's a pen, so <laughs> that works. The outside's blue. That's misleading. Okay, what about this one? Karen Brush Marker Pro. This says indigo blue, so I'm expecting this to be blue. Oh, yes. This is very, very, very blue. I like brush pens because you can press really hard. Not, not really hard, like don't break it. But you get like a really nice thick line. Or you can get like nice little... Yes, the sounds help. Okay. And then, yeah, we tried this monstrosity. And it's, you know, I suppose I could try and get some nice, like, oh, now it's like, I mean, the brushes, you kind of got, like, yep, and that's a brush pen. So if I put it in here, ooh, oh, it's not doing, it's not doing fantastic dots, but. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to have a bit of a think and see what we are going to make with this. And apparently I've just read here that 1880 and the Caran Brush Marker Pro, these are actually new to Art Snacks. So, I mean, that's nice. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, yeah, have a, have a quick look at these, um, read about it a little bit, and then, um, yeah, we'll come up with something fun to draw in this spot. So, yeah, stay with me. Okay, so I um, got my inspiration, I guess, even though the colours don't quite match, but... Um, I was just thinking that I might just go ahead and do a uh, little Christmas bust. So, bust is pretty much shoulders, neck and head. Almost like the song. <laughs> so, I'm going to do, do a girl. A lot. I like drawing girls. The easier the, I don't know if that's coming up on the that thing my recording device <laughs> I'm not going to reveal what it is because it's embarrassing all right so we've got a basic head there I'm not going to make it too realistic because a lot of my stuff's actually quite realistic and sometimes I get a bit bored with realism might do a little bit of a cartoony thing We'll do that across there. Hope everyone has had a good Christmas. I myself has. Have. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we're drawing an elf. I, <laughs> I didn't even see what I was doing. I was just like, oh, that's that is going to be this big, apparently. Sweet. Okay, cool. I like elves. Oh, that's a bit crooked. Oh, well. Usually I do like, you know, ske little sketches and stuff, but I'm just going to draw it straight on here today. Um, I think this elf might have a Christmas hat because it's still Christmas, even if I'm a bit late. 
but it is still December and this is the December box so as long as I upload this video while doing this it's still December it's still relevant it's still Christmas Christmas is Christmas until January in my opinion Okay, my drawing, not style, but my drawing method is very, very, uh, what's the word, dependent on um, circles. I like using circles to get certain distances and shapes and things like that, because the beauty of about a circle is that they're, like, you can build on them sort of thing, so, um, yeah, it just makes it a lot easier to sort of do that with. I have no idea what I'm saying. Oh, I kind of want to give her earrings. Do that one and that one. Oh no, there's too many, oh, there's too many circles. I don't know, what else is Christmassy? Oh, maybe her earrings can be bells. One and two. So I don't know if you guys know, um, like obviously I'm Australian, if you can't tell by my amazing accent, but um, Australia is on fire at the moment. So, um, yeah, like we, I, I get jealous of Americans because I've always wanted to experience a white Christmas and, um, I can't, like at the moment, the only snowing we're getting is like the snowing of ash. Um, but I don't really want to go out and make ash angels because that's a bit depressing. So I thought, um... I just mention that to, to people. I don't know how many people around the world actually know. I don't usually watch the, the news or anything like that. Um, but, like, my, my kids haven't been able to go out and play outside because, like, there's just smoke everywhere and ash everywhere. There was ash on the trampoline, you know. And it's, um, at this time of year especially, it's, like, really scary because every year, as you guys might know, Australia gets, um, what's the word, like, you know, we, get, we have the... the Oh, come on, words. Far out. Summer. We have our Christmas in summer. So we have our red Christmas, as opposed to everyone else's white Christmas. And so, like, summer's really, really good for us uh, when it's Christmas time because we love going out and playing with the water and getting on the trampoline and, you know, eskies and beer and all that sort of stuff. Um... But we haven't really been able to do that because, you know, we've got level, I think we're up to level two water restrictions now, which is just absolutely, it's bloody scary, to be honest. I feel like I'm what, taking way too much time on this sketch, so I'm going to just stop talking for a minute and then I'm just going to quickly time lapse the rest of this sketch. Okay, so I've done that. Um, I'm going to take a little trick from... Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bloody glove off. I know it's meant to be used for... Di oh, well, okay, now it's just unraveling itself. Awesome. Um, I got that from um, online. I know it's meant to be a um, digital painting glove, but I like to use it so I don't, like, you know... Spin your stuff and stuff. So I'm gonna open this one up. Um, Art Racer Stadler. I think that's what it's called. 
I think I've, I covered that. In, I, I, I covered that I couldn't pronounce it in one of my other videos. So, oh, I mean, I know it probably needs to be there, but I mean that's a lot of plastic. I hate plastic. So I learned this technique from um, drawing with waffles. Um, when you get an eater eraser, which is amazing, and you roll it into a sausage, and then you go over the entire drawing and just roll it, and it picks up a lot of the um, the lead. Oh, I should probably mention that I'm actually using a uh, Prismacolor Color Race as well in Carmine Red. You wouldn't be able to have this sort of pickup with um, a color pencil like of any sort it, it, it most likely needs to be a coal erase um, because it's a certain lead that is meant to be picked up by erasers yeah that'll do okay now i am going to get my heading yes i'm gonna get this one and i'm going to line the absolute crap out of it so bear with me there i'm gonna Time lapse it again. Um, so I don't know what it's like to mix these things together either. So I might be able to get like a light grey. It's working a lot better now that it's been sitting for a while. So if I put that there, then like I mix it straight away. Oh, look at that. Okay. Ooh. Actually, that makes a pretty nice gradient. What am I going to use it for? <laughs> Eyebrows. I don't know. But the main, oh, it doesn't wreck your paintbrush either, which is cool. Um, okay, so the main one I'm going to be using today, though, is um, probably the indigo blue, because I want that to be for the hat. So we'll do that first, I think. Hopefully, oh, let's see if it's bled through now. Oh, look at that. God, this is good paper. I love this paper. Right. I might might try and do I'm going to do a little bit of a swatch up here to see if the blue and the white kind of change. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. That's really nice. I might do that with um with her eyes actually. I'll make her have pretty light blue eyes. Oh my gosh, is this leaking? I really hope it's not leaking. Please don't leak. I've used it too much already. Oh, is it gonna work? No, that's oh, sort of. I'm just going to have to go back over it with the black now for the pupil. That's just kind of given her white eyes now. Shit. Uh, okay. So we will wait for that to dry. <laughs> I mean, it kind of looks nice. It looks shimmery if I went back over it with the black and fixed it up a little bit. Because that's what I want to do in here. I kind of want to make it look like it's starry and glittery and pretty. Okay, so I'll fill this in with the white. Because the pom-pom's going to be... Oh, and it's just... Yep, it's leaking everywhere. I've been drawing a lot of uh, drawing. I've been watching a lot of um, drawing with waffles, and um, 
she said the same thing about these things and yeah she's absolutely right that they're really hard to work with. It's like an acrylic paint. Like I would, I would actually rather use an acrylic paint than these things because I mean, you try to squeeze it out and it kind of just bubbles and drips everywhere. Like it's really, really, really hard to work with. So I mean, I'm not, look. This is the this is my first art snacks box, but I have watched a lot of different. Oh, see, look at that. I have watched. A few like you know art subscription unboxing videos and things like that so I know that you could just get a dicky box they might be having a bad month and all that sort of stuff but like I don't know this stuff's ugh. I kind of rather work with white out you know what I mean like it's very I mean, it creates good texture I, I guess oh her eyes are kind of darkened a bit more now interesting so it may maybe if I hmm I'm gonna experiment a little bit if this get off stupid magnet so if I like squeeze some in here oh god it's go I'm gonna regret this I'm like ruining my pen okay that'll do oh god yeah I've ruined my pen Let's just wipe that on. <laughs> wipe that on with all the white bits. I was going to do that anyway. I'll just, yep, yeah, there we go. Look at that. I'm a professional. This could take a while. But I'm not wasting it. You cannot waste art supplies. That is a big no no. I'm nearly done. Oh my, oh my goodness. Why doesn't it do it? Oh. Real artists who use these all the time are going to be watching this and going, that is not how you use it. Please stop butchering our art supplies. Oh, one more to go. Yay. Look at that. It looks like a sheep. Blech. I miss properly. Oh, no. Oh, oh, at least you guys, whoever's watching this, can skip it if you're bored. You're like, oh man, it's taking too long. She should have time lapsed this, and then you can just skip it. I have to do this in real time. That's how boring this is for me. Oh my god. Oh, just where is it? Where is it? Metallic brush pen. <laughs> No! It's crap. I'm gonna go in and um, brighten up those bits. And then one there. Just because I want to use up as much as this, as much as I can. Okay, now I was thinking about kind of cheating. Um, actually, what I might do is I'll do her necklace, which was going to be like a um, snowflake. Oh, excuse me. I'm burping all over the place. From my fizzy drink, my fizzy beverage. Being Australian, I'm sure you can all guess what that is. Okay, I like that. And then, look, to be honest, I don't really know how to draw snowflakes, so I'm just going to go like that, like that. Yeah, that looks like a snowflake enough. Cool. Okay. Um, I was thinking about oh, what happened with that. It's not very bright anymore. Kind of soaked in. There we go. That's a bit better. Um, I was trying to figure out how to do her hair. So I was like, I want to make it a mixture like these. Um, 
So I was like gonna squirt a whole bunch in my trusty little weird cup thing again. I don't know how much, like, enough. Kind of like paint, like this. Duh. And then, oh my god, where do I put it? I'll put it there. Ah, yuck. And then, ah, there we go. Yep. And then, ooh. Okay, cool, cool. This is kind of what I was wanting to do. And then just kind of like create a, a, a grey. And then I was just going to use this to very carefully give her grey hair, which will probably be an instant regret. There we go. On point. God, this is like a three color challenge. But they don't say anywhere in the rules that you can't mix them. <laughs> okay. You know what? I'm going to cheat. I don't even care. I'm going to use this metallic marker. Statler. Statler. That word. And I want to do the bells in it. Because I think after all this crap that I've been through, I deserve it. Oh my gosh, my esophagus is just dying. I'm going to add some blush with this one. This counts because this was my sketching pencil. I can't sketch with any of these, so I'm, you know, making the most of it. It's funny because, like, you know, in America... Or like, you know, cold, I shouldn't say America, like just cold countries. They have this a lot, like the little, you know, frostbitten, cute, cold, little blushy look. Where um, in Australia, we have the same thing, except as a sunburn. Lips. Oh, what do I need to do with the lips? What do I want to do with the lips? I might actually, I'm going to give her little love heart lips. With the white. I know I said I wasn't going to use this as much, but I'm going to give her like these sort of lips. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over it like this. I'm going to do a love heart. And then when that dries, that looks really silly. But when that dries, I'm going to see what it looks like when I put that over it. So it might be like a little bit of a lighter thing. A lighter shade. Highlights are the best. There we go. Okay, is that dry? Ah, good. Lisa dries quick. Like that. I might give her a little bit of... Oops. Oh. I keep on getting my head in the way because I don't know how far my head actually is from the camera. I'm going to give her some frostbitten ears. Frostbitten chin. And also... There we go, and there we go, and also like a little bit here, just, just on the shoulders. Lovely. And I'm going to see what this looks like over this. Yeah, it kind of works. Ooh, yes it does. That's nice, I like that. As long as I don't chip it off. That'll do nicely. Add a bit more detail to the eyebrows. There we go. And what else? What else? What else? We're nearly done. Nearly done. I think I'll just 
add a few lines to the hair. Yep, that's hair. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. Far out. These little bits. I forgot her little mini sideburns. Detail. Okay. There we go. I think um I think that just about does it. Um I just want to say thank you for uh for watching my video. Um if you like it, please subscribe, hit the bell, leave a comment, thumbs up. Uh what else? All the all the positive stuff cuz the negative stuff doesn't help me at all, especially my self-esteem. So don't do that. Um I also want to thank Art Snacks, not 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 sponsored, um, but hopefully one day, probably not, because I've just like spent the last you know twenty thirty minutes bagging out their products. So, um, <laughs> but otherwise, yeah, I just want to you know say thank you for for watching, supporting, continue to watching my videos, blah blah blah. I really really I really really appreciate it, guys. Um, I wouldn't be making these videos if you weren't watching them, so it is all about you. So yeah, stay tuned for the next video. Merry Christmas and, um, and a Happy New Year. See you guys later, appreciate it.